Hello folks, um, it's me, Jamie from Randomized User, with more Starbound? Who would have thought it? So today we're going to have a look at the Pocket World mod. Also, I'm going to destroy a few avians. <laughs> this has no effect whatsoever. Um, I've got the Mex XS legs on. Anyway, that's nothing to do with this video at all. Let's get out of here. Let's actually um, uh, access our Pocket World. It's a, basically a persistent Pocket Universe type thing where you can store stuff, you can build stuff. And I haven't actually seen it in action yet, so it's going to be a journey for all of us. So you actually do craft it, once you've installed the mod, of course. You do craft it over at your um, architect um, table. And it's, where is it, the Quantum Space Accelerator is where you start. And it requires a whole bunch of stuff, but nothing too late game really. Well, Solarium Star is a bit of a pain in the ass. Um, but yeah, you need a yeah, reasonable amount of stuff. But I'm sure that won't be beyond you. I've already got one. Um, but I haven't actually placed it yet. Um, so as I say, this is the first time. So let's have a go. Made myself a little space here. Here we go. Right, let's test it out. Pocket World. So you only get one per save at the moment in this. There's, I think the modder does intend to develop this a bit more, but at the moment it's one per save, and every single one of these things will actually take you to the same place. Which, apparently, is in the middle of bloody nowhere. I've got a bit of space station material here. Oh! <laughs> that a bit of a spin. <laughs> I don't fall off. I wonder what happens if you fall off. Right. For the Queen! Oh, actually, the ex uh, Oh, God. The, um, I'd just sort of like to point out that the gravity is actually quite low here. Uh-oh. 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 I'm, I'm, I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. There's literally nothing there. It's just an empty void. Ah. It's persistent, though. Like, um, um, every time you go back, anything that you've built will still be there. Uh, which I can't really demonstrate, because I did bugger all. Let's have a look. See if I've actually got anything in my inventory. Oh, well, I've got I've got some wood. So I'm guessing if you keep on going eventually all the way to the left, you will actually loop round, just like any other kind of planet or whatever. Even the ruin does that. So yeah, just um, bung some stuff in, and you can use this as a good storage location. Um, could have skipping. Uh, let's let's have a nice little. Oh God. Uh, apparently, there's um. I think the intention is in future versions of this mod is to actually have a way of controlling the gravity, like you do in your space station. Uh, I've decided this is now called Chair World. This is for all the sitting you'll ever need. But it's silent. It's silent. There's nothing, nothing else here but you. So you can. It's just. It's just like a blank canvas, really. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's, 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 if you like, um, if you want to like have a load and load of chests or whatever that you can get to from any time you build a quantum accelerator or whatever the hell you call it, that would be perfect. And so if you have many different bases, uh, you might have a nice little teleporter network going on. Uh, this is my house. It's really quite piss. <laughs> As houses go, it this is possibly the pissiest house there's ever been. So let's um, let's make it all slimy. Oops. Well, we'll never see that again. <laughs> God damn it. So I guess as I was, um, as I was saying, like, you could build a little teleporter network. So if you've built, um, for instance, a pirate ship full of muffalo uh, and some bogs... Actually, they're called fluffalo, aren't they? Well, this will be the perfect location, for instance, to have another quantum space allocator, as it turns out that they're called. And you will go back to the same one. It's always the same one. You can't have more than one at the moment, as I said at the start of the video. And we're back in our little persistent pocket world. I've done some slight cleaning up. Uh, this is still the world of chairs, just not very many of them in a small house. I should probably put in another light and put it outside, I think. So there's no background or foreground at all in this place. It's really rather spooky. Um, but there is light. I mean, it's, um, there is a, like a um, universal light. It isn't just like pitch black, um, as far as I can work out anyway. Oh, there's, <laughs> there's one light down there. No, there isn't. And that's gone. Gone forever. I wonder if you could deploy a mech here. Oh, oh! I know, I know you can't, but using that other mod that I think I've actually still got installed, I might actually be able to do that. Hang on. Okay, lady, and possibly Leela. And um, one, um, where is it? Handheld teleporter, please. Yes. And this is featured in um, um, one of the other videos I've done recently involving mechs. Uh, it's a mod that allows you. Well, the, the base mod just allows you to be able to teleport wherever you want. Uh, by charging it up. I know this is not a very good example because I'm on the ship, but... Yeah, so you can do it like um, a teleporter 
literally just by holding it and charging it up. You can do that anywhere. However, there's also a mech deployer mod that I've got on, which extends the mod so you can actually deploy your mech as well wherever you are. So if we go back to our pocket world, we will actually be able to deploy our mech there. I've got so many mods installed at the moment. Uh, I've got mech success installed at the moment, hence why my cheese shark is so leggy. Right, so we, we need to just do this. And deploy mech. Let's hope there's not some weird mod, um, ex you know, like um, incompatibility here. Uh, this is live testing for you. Nope, we're all good. So yes, you, by the use of a lot of mods, you can too um, stand on top of a really crap chair house in a mech with extra legs, lads. Anyway, there's, a, there's probably loads you can do, like create, a, create your own obstacle courses and stuff like that. Um, with the added benefit of not having, not having to do that with like having to strip out loads of background. And it's just like a, a totally blank canvas. Uh, so there's a lot of creativity um, here that you could unlock with, um, your, with this mod. Uh, <laughs> I said rambling on. Uh, so yeah, it's a nice little thing, actually. I like it a lot. It's, uh, I'm not quite sure what I'll build it. Maybe I'll do like a full video. Maybe I'll stream um, something like this. Uh, maybe I will. But also, yeah, I mean, you can just use it in a very basic form, just um, as, a, as like a, a bonus bit of storage area, just so you can access it from anywhere. However, the quantum, what do you call it, is quite... You, you, can't just have, you, you can't just, like, craft hundreds of them, because you'd actually have to get loads of the raw materials in the first place, so that would take actually quite a while to do. Right, that's it. Uh, the mod is still in development, so there may be more features to come, which would be nice to see. The nice little thing, I might find some uses for that. Um, cool, okay, so do check out my other Starbound stuff, which I'm sure you've heard of by now. Um, bloody hell. And uh, there's a lot of it. Oh god, there's a lot of it. Uh, yeah, my Hunted Station's still going at the moment, my Let's Play, uh, and there's all the, all the other stuff as well. A lot of mech stuff, because why the hell not? Uh, cool, okay, so do subscribe if you're not already, uh, and do check out my Patreon if you want to help support the channel. Uh, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.